Hi, I'm Cash, and welcome to Cash Talks Football, where I break down all the goals scored in the Premier League, using my over 20 plus years of coaching experience, giving you different insights that the other Muppets on TV won't exactly tell you, because genuinely they don't really know that much about football. Um, so uh, right now we're covering Tottenham against Wolves in the uh, Premier League. Wolves are, I don't know, they're a funny up and down side, I think. They're pretty much like um, most teams in the Premier League. And if you're honest, everyone's got their starting 11 fit. Everybody could probably give everybody a half-decent game. And it uh, looks like right now, they're in that situation where they've got a couple of players coming back from injury. And, uh, Tottenham are losing a couple of theirs. But we're talking about a free header in the box here from a corner for this first goal, which I think is completely and utterly unacceptable. As this comes in, watch this guy. No one is near him marking him whatsoever. Free header. And this is the Premier League. On the Sunday League, you might accept that. But not here in the Prem. Not much really to talk about, except for uh, if there's a guy free in the box and um, you might want to mark him. Shocker. Who would have thought that? Technical knowledge, right? I'm not sure if this next goal was a work set play or a set piece, but it's from a throw-in. They've got a guy here backing into the box here. Quite smart, because obviously if he tries to push him or do anything to him, he's going to get himself a pen as the ball's coming in. A couple of little ricochets, and you really expect the keeper to do better. But right now, let's have a look at how this unfolds, because uh, Wolves probably should be doing a little bit better defending than this. As this ball comes in here, it's no real threat, but you don't let him roll you. You keep him there. You don't let him roll you lays it off and this is where the bundle ensues there should have been a, at least one of the wolves player trying to help this wee man out here and it goes through but what i really want to show you is when this comes when he actually breaks past this player here and he beats this player here it's his finish i was talking about it in another one of my um uh, breakdowns of how important using all of the weapons that you have at your disposal are and the toe is one of those when you were younger hitting the ball with your toe wasn't necessarily a good thing but everybody made fun of you inside the six yard box in the premier league to get yourself a goal it's a glorious thing so that's what this guy does here he ends up rolling this guy quite easily bosch beats him looks for the gap in between the keeper's leg and then he toes it through the keeper's legs watch there's no back lift here that's that's why you use the toe at such a short range. Dorf, he's just striding and running forward like he's just taking a normal step and he's poked it straight through the keeper's legs. First of all, that's unacceptable by the keeper. But that's what ends up happening. When this ball goes in, though, this is what I do like. Look at how many Wolves players are upset. That's passion. That means they're not... Ex they, they, they're expecting to win this game. They're expecting to beat Tottenham. And if they're not... Un you know, if they're not... Un sorry. Blah, if they're not happy and they're, you know, um, mad... I'm happy with that because that shows passion, that shows that they care about the game, that shows that they really expect to win this game of football. A couple of points to show you in this goal. Normally, I'll play a lot more of what's going on and clip it a little bit better, but I am still on a copyright strike from the Premier League because they're map hits. But uh, right now, we're going to show you this, and here's a classic example of why you don't put this many players forward against certain teams. Now, from when this guy here, Neto, I like him, he receives the ball here on this run, he doesn't get challenged from this point until the other side of the field. So from what I'm going to show you now, this guy just runs all the way down the field. No one goes... Right now is the first time somebody is getting close to him. And you can see he, he ran from his 18-yard box all the way to the other end of the field to here. The poor lad run everywhere in this game. And no one even close to challenging him. The reason for that is because they're set up wrong to defend the corner. What do you mean? We, we were taking the corner. Why are we set up to defend it? Well, you have to. Always think that you're going to mess up the corner and you needed to defend it. If you think you're going to score every corner, well, you'd be wrong. Because statistics say you might be lucky to get one corner you know, scored in maybe seven games. So chances are, after you've taken the corner, the thing is you're going to be doing 99% of the time is defending the corner. So when you've you know, taken the corner, make sure you're set up to keep the ball and keep the pressure in their box they were not ball comes down now the next sort of thing that happens the wee man beats him for pace gets his little cut back to here looking for his pass now this pass here this is what i want to show you because you've got one two three defenders going towards the ball again poor poor defending Two, yeah, fine. Three, no. Because what you're looking for is the next option. What are they going to do next? You don't have the ball. Okay? You need to be thinking, right, okay, we've got a guy on the ball. Great guys on the ball that's his job you're not pressuring the ball so you don't think about winning the ball that isn't your responsibility if you are not thinking about winning the football you need to be thinking about where's the next pass for the football or look at that player there is another one of my teammates going to help him win the football yeah if not oh maybe i can double up mm, even though it's not smart maybe i need to look around no one looks around and why i'm saying no one looks around is because look at this player here this guy's ahead of him right 
No one is bothering to look around. This is the goal scorer. Here comes the pass. Bosch. Now this guy's reacting. Nobody looked around to even spot this guy here. He was right next to him. He didn't even know he was there. Absolutely shocking. Taps the ball in the goal. There we go. Nice and simple. 2-1. We get the win. Look around yourselves, boys and girls. See if there's anyone around you. Then go mark them. I'll see you next time on Cash Yells at Premier League Players. Thank <music> you.